NG Firewall SSL policy. NG Firewall provides a solution to protect the client side HTTPS web server with the SSL policy. NG Firewall also uses the stronger algorithm in data transfer to secure customer data stored in the web server as safe as possible. In advance, users also have to set up the server certificate required for the SSL policy. There are three different ways to add in the server certificate like import the certificate, SSL signer certificate, and import public private key. Now I am going to introduce the basic step to configure the SSL policy. First of all, you can choose to add the new server certificate under the object tab. Otherwise, if you are going to create the new SSL policy first, the system will prompt for the server certificate also. In this breaker, I will only demonstrate the way how to configure self signer certificate in the SSL policy. Hello everyone, now we can go to create an SSL policy under the sec server security tab. So we can add in the new policy and name it whatever you like. After that, the system will ask for the server certificate also. User can choose the existing certificate in the drop down list. Otherwise, they have to create the new server certificate under the object tab. So, we can continue to create a new server certificate. In this breaker, I will only create a self signer certificate by entering the information requirement. So, the countries only have to put in the two characters. So, in here, we only put a MY, which is a Malaysia. After that, user can type in the information according their situation. And the CA password should more than 6 characters, otherwise it's not acceptable. You can see the key size and the validate over here. So just keep it default, everything will be fine. So you can view the certificate over here and see the ND5 and SHA1 value. Now we can resume back to the SSL policy tab and select the server certificate we created right now. And also we have to enter the web server IP address we want to protect. After that, user can select the protocol they want to enable in the SSL policy and also the algorithm available to encrypt the data transfer. So in here we just left everything as a default value. So that's all for my tutorial.